Am I the only one who thinks that Elon Musk is absolutely hilarious? Uh, so he's on here. He's like uh, Harry Potter author uh, J.K. Rowling shows interest in Bitcoin. Um, Elon Musk joins in, uh, and uh, you know there's a number of different places where Elon's been uh, popping up. Uh, Elon Musk slams uh, massive stimulus from the Fed, of course, uh, tells Harry Potter author uh, Bitcoin looks solid. Uh, Elon Musk, the outspoken and controversial billionaire, uh, chief executive of electric car maker Tesla, uh, isn't a fan of uh, the, um, the current you know, stimulus package. And uh, Musk, who previously warned uh, U.S. Uh, physical policy has become uh, detached from reality, has now said central bank currency uh it, you know uh, it, it, it's definitely interesting he's making uh cryptocurrency bitcoin uh look solid by comparison which is a pretty cool uh little advertisement I mean, he's sort of slowly becoming a spokesperson uh for bitcoin i mean i know he's gone on some pretty massive uh Twitter tirades, but definitely interesting. I mean, I got uh, also this quote right here. It, he kind of reminds me of this Henry Ford quote uh, that it is well enough that people of the nation do not understand our banking and monetary system. Uh, for if they did, I believe there would be a revolution before tomorrow morning. Uh, now, a little dramatic, but still, uh, it is interesting. You know, we've got uh, some definitely interesting developments that have been happening. Um, you know, just a few uh, months ago, the concept of a billionaire uh, like, you know, Elon Musk coming out on Twitter uh, in favor of Bitcoin, it would have been unheard of. I mean, it, I mean just as much as we've seen uh, the amount of volatility that's come uh, into the space so far, um, you know, in all sorts of angles, we have um, a multitude of different developments that have really given us all sort of a, a important reality check, uh, you know, about the fragility of our uh, current predicament. Uh, Bitcoin currently coming in at $9,359. Uh, you know, and, uh, definitely interesting to see. Uh, you know, Digibyte, of course. I want to talk about Digibyte in today's video. Uh, you know, we're going to talk about blockchain. And really one of the things that I think often gets overlooked uh, as people currently uh, sort of do get um, wrapped up in talking about the moment-to-moment -moment price action of uh, something like Bitcoin and uh, digital currency and digital assets uh, and obviously to a great uh, fault I would say the argument that we need to focus on um, as the digibyte community is really uh, the the analogy that I've been bringing up uh, that I you know that's been I've voiced on this channel now uh, a couple times uh, which is the concept of we have all these different um, businesses and you know nations you know all these different interests uh, big, big uh, bodies of, uh, you know, power that are trying to put tens of millions of dollars uh, to build their own blockchain when uh, all we need to do, um, you know, and all Digibyte needs to do is uh, continue to work with what we already have. Uh, the fact of the matter is that Digibyte, the infrastructure is already there. It's already maintained. Uh, the uh, wheels are already turning, um, which I think is uh, something that can't be said for uh, a lot of these other, um, you know, interest, uh, you know, sectors, uh, nations and businesses that uh, will be forced to play catch up uh, as we see a lot of different of the different differences and intricacies of uh, a lot of the different variables, uh, you know, meshing and really coming into their own um, in one way or another. So it will be definitely very interesting to see uh, just exactly what happens uh, when it comes to uh, Bitcoin and what, you know, the cryptocurrency space uh, at large. And I think Elon Musk is uh, on point with a lot of these different comments uh, that he has been making. And, uh, you know, it will be definitely very interesting to see. Um, and uh, it will be important uh, to watch a lot of the different developments. Uh, you know, the JK Rowling lady um, showing interest in Bitcoin. Um, I mean, I don't put any stock in her. I, she's kind of a nut job. Uh, but Elon Musk is cool. And either way, they both have a huge platform. Um, so seeing them uh, talking politely 
lightly, you know, in any specific terms, bringing up Bitcoin. Uh, it, the, you know, it is in the public consciousness. I don't think that there's anybody anywhere who hasn't heard of Bitcoin. And at this point, it's sort of a question of whether people want to be uh, willfully ignorant and continue to go among their own ways. Uh, and it's past the point where Bitcoin is sort of a underground thing and it's slowly but surely uh, crypto is sort of becoming a, a very mainstream topic uh, so we have right here a crypto exchange uh, and a crowdfunding platform launch a crypto based uh, donation system um, that, you know which is uh, for you know Mexico according to a report published uh, you know uh, Mexico uh, crypto exchange uh, you know local cloud crowdfunding platform um, definitely interesting I think the uh, public health uh, sort of thing that we've seen um, has uh, has been interesting in a, and it will continue to be interesting. I think it definitely has served as a catalyst, uh, if not a wake up call um, that has really helped us uh, in, in our in our development of the sort, you know, as cryptocurrency um, advocators, uh, you know, people who try to um, you know, talk about, you know, Bitcoin and all these different things. Um, it, you know, it is interesting just to see how uh, a lot of these different developments have been, um, you know, developing in um, many uh, uncertain terms, uh, you know, and it will be interesting to just to see how uh, a lot of these different things, uh, you know, continue to move forward. Uh, so we have, um, you know, this, uh, just a small clip right here that I, I, I a clip that I want to play, uh, uh, you know, just a probably 30 second clip just to, you know, get the ball rolling. Um, but yeah, so we're going to uh, move over to that now. Bitcoin is trying to digitally replicate the properties of gold. I mean, that's the whole selling point. Let's of Bitcoin. talk about that. And let's, you know, hopefully we have enough time to really hash this. this subject and out. It does have a lot of gold's properties that helped it succeed as well. Money. You know, there's only 21 million Bitcoins, right? You can't have any more than that. So therefore, there's some scarcity. Gold is scarce because it really is the scarce. The blockchain is, is, is so great. I knew about it early on. I mean, not at the very beginning when it was like pennies, but I knew about it before it was we $10. Bitcoin. There's nothing that I can do with Bitcoin other than give it to somebody else. I mean, that's the whole purpose of it is to give it to somebody the, else. The value and, of, of, of a cryptocurrency is, is based on the willingness of somebody else to accept it in exchange for, you know, last for something week, else. Some guy was saying $100 million. A hundred million of Bitcoin. There's certainly a bull market in cryptocurrency. I have a hundred thousand dollars in this wallet. It's here, and I can use it to buy a pack of chewing gum. I could use it to buy a flat screen TV. I can use it to buy a car. I don't think any of these cryptocurrencies can ever be stable because there's no real value to stabilize. I can buy. So um, definitely interesting. I mean, the concept of uh, I, th I think that his arguments there will. Uh, age uh, in an in an interesting way because I mean you, it, it's it's sort of uh, hip hypocritical because I mean who would have thought that paper I mean somebody some I mean, back in the day it sort of goes hand in hand with our evolution of how we perceive money um, and it's difficult I would say probably for um, boomers to or you know certain even everybody's guilty of it at some level the uh, concept of trying to uh think in sort of a fourth dimensional sense uh where uh money is going to move forward but i think our perception of money um is at the root and uh heart of uh you know this uh paradigm shift that's uh currently happening and i think that it is um we are early. I mean, we are early to the game, and I think Digibyte will be regarded uh, similarly to uh, Bitcoin. You know, in, in in just the same way that when Bitcoin was under a dollar, um, people were, it was easy for them to ignore it. But uh, I think that Digibyte does have the power to easily be a eight dollar, you know, seven dollar uh, around the. You know, when we see Bitcoin um, up there and th those numbers uh, are like a hundred thousand dollars of Bitcoin. Uh, I don't think that it'll be uh, any sort of a stretch of the imagination to imagine a, a something that's faster and more. I mean, a lot of the points that were made in that uh, little clip there are um, easily refutable when you talk about uh, something like Digibyte. And I think thinking about a, a Bitcoin centric 
um, model for these things. I, I mean, it is um, it is interesting just to see. Um, but anyway, you know, remember, I'm, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not your dad. Um, you know, this video is for entertainment, educational purposes only. You know, remember to subscribe uh, and, of course, share this around with the uh, Digibyte community. Uh, you know, we need to, uh, you, you know, we need to get... Uh, get more people um, on board, you know, to send this, uh, you know, on Twitter or where, where have, wherever you want, um, you know, and of course, comment down below, letting us know uh, what you guys think. I'm always interested in your uh, opinion. You know, this video, this, these, this platform does serve as a conversation, um, you know, for everybody who wants to um, share their opinion. Um, but yeah, all that being said, uh, man, I think it will be interesting just to see how uh, the space evolves, um, man, you know, and of course, uh, you know, where we watch uh, Bitcoin and all, all the perception of it uh, evolve. And uh, I think we'll pretty safely have the last laugh, uh, you know, those of us who are uh, pro um, Digibyte. But all that being said, I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, have a good one.